Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is coefficient of determination. In this video, basic concept, exercises, and analysis of R square is covered. Let us start. Coefficient of determination is a statistical measure that measures the extent to which a dependent variable varies as a result of an independent variable. It evaluates how good the linear regression model is fitting on the data. That is, R square indicates how well the data fits to the regression model. It is a goodness of fit. R square values are expressed as percentage ranging from 1 to 100 percent. The greater the value of R square, the more dependent the performance of the dependent variable is on the independent variable, and vice versa. Higher value of R square model is better, and most of the data close to the line of regression. But if R square is very close to one, then there is a possibility of model overfitting and which can be avoided. In statistics, R, R square and adjusted R square are all three different terms. R represents the correlation between the variables. R square is the goodness of fit that how that data spread across the along the uh, regression line that is a variation of the in data explained by the correlation and adjusted R square accounts for the other variables that is nothing but it's related with degree of freedom of linear regression and number of independent variables involved in the process as well as total number of records present in the training data r square reflects the variance in data explained by the link between the independent variable and dependent variable as opposed to correlation r which quantifies the strength and the association between the two variables r square is not deal with the degree of freedom Therefore, if new variable is added in the regression model, then uh, if the newly added variable is significant to output variable, then R square will increase, otherwise it will remain as it is. Means, for example, if we add new variables in the regression process and if it is significant, then R square will increase. If that newly added variable is not significant or relevant, then R square will remain as it is. This is very important observation. Now difference between the average that is y dash and prediction y cap. Generally we give the decision based on average value. For example training data of household monthly income that is independent x and expense dependent y. Now we have training data set in which our independent variable is monthly income and based on that that is the expense that is dependent variable is there. From training data of 100 records, we found that based on monthly income, the average value of the expense is 20k. So from the average of the training records in which if we take the, take the average of the expense, then it is 20k. If we do not have any other way that is regression, then we rely on average estimate. But if some other ways like regression or any other prediction model is there, then we can do better than the average. For example, if we rely on the average, then these three cases can be possible. For example, case one, if new test data comes with no monthly income, then also we can predict the 20k based on our historical data. Here our guess may be wrong. Case two, if new test data comes with the monthly income is 15k, then in this case we can predict that if income is 15k, then expense is less than 20k. So here also we are generally making the comparison with your average of y. If new test data comes with the monthly income of 70k, in this case we can predict the expense is more than 20k. But when we do regression, the model is built and most of the data is fit to the model. And we can do the proper prediction analysis on the future data. For previous problem, if we apply regression and when the new test record comes at that time, the result of prediction are better than the average and they are very close to actual value. Now this is very important to understand this diagram. Now this is x that is independent variable, y dependent variable. This is nothing but the average of training records that is nothing but y dash. And here this is the line of regression and when we draw the regression line and if our data is highly correlated then we get the data most of the close to regression line. Now here we require to understand the three important terms that is three, dif three differences can be possible if we compare with the y dash that is y dash and the actual value, y dash and the predicted value, 
predicted value and the average value so based on that three the three terms are there so in some literature they are using SSE, SSR and SST and in some other literature they are using RSS, ESS and TSS so we have to remember both the ways sum of square due to error or residual sum of square now here it is nothing but the error between the actual term and predicted value now actual term is y and predicted is yi and we always take the squares of the error so yi minus y cap square and their summation and it may be represented by SSE or RSS next is sum of squares due to regression or explain sum of square now this ESS meaning is that how much error can be explained by the prediction because the result based on prediction is better always better than the average so it is taking the difference between the predicted value and the average value that's why summation of y cap minus y dash square and third is total sum of square now here from total sum of square we compare between the actual value and the average value or it is called as a total sum of square that is TSS which is equal to actual value minus the difference between the average that is difference between the average and actual value so if we see this diagram closely we can find out that total error is nothing but the difference between the actual value and the average and if we draw the regression line we are getting somewhat better answer and that is nothing but ESS that is difference between the y dash and y cap and this is nothing but the error between our prediction model now from this it is very much clear that TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS or in different terms we can write down SST is equal to SSE plus SSR now TSS is nothing but the complete term and this is RSS and ESS so TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS now R square is nothing but whatever that explained by the variable now here we are taking the ESS by TSS now explain by the regression divided by total sum of square now explain by the regression is ESS and total sum of square is TSS that is from the actual value and the average value now from the diagram it is very much clear that TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS if we divide by TSS we will get 1 is equal to RSS by TSS plus ESS by TSS and this is nothing but R square so we can represent R square either ESS by TSS or R square is equal to 1 minus RSS by TSS now here the value of R square vary between 0 to 1 or 1 to 100 percent so if the value vary between 0 0.75 to 1 then there is a substantial percentage of variation is explained 0 0.50 to 0 0.75 a good amount of variation is explained and 0 0.25 to 0 0.50 a small extent of variation is explained by the independent variable to the dependent variable and if the value of r square bit is between 0 to 0 0.25 there is little or no variation is explained now we will see some exercises this example is given in which x is independent variable y is dependent variable and here the y dash we can easily calculate that y dash is nothing but 8 and here we are applying the simple linear regression and after applying the simple linear regression we are getting the answer y cap is equal to 0.2 plus 2.6x this is intercept and slope term now here to calculate the r square either we can do ESS by TSS or 1 minus RSS by TSS so this is very easy to build the table here x and y are there as the line equation is given we can calculate the predicted value after that we can find out the RSS, TSS and ESS ESS is nothing but the difference between the average and predicted TSS is nothing but the actual value and average and RSS is nothing but the y that is actual value and the predicted value that is the sum of residual error now here when we do that operation once the table is ready it is very easy to calculate the r square value we are getting the value 0.845 and when the value of r square is greater than 0.75 or 75 percent is it is always better so substantial percentage of variation explained is our comment now see the next example again the this example are explained for the simple linear regression x is independent variable y is dependent variable 
by performing the linear regression we can easily perform the uh, we can easily predict the value for intercept and the slope y is equal to 7.6 plus 0.9x now to calculate the r square we can easily make the table in which x and y we can calculate from the line of equation y cap that is nothing but the predicted value and it is very easy to calculate rss ts and ess firstly you require to understand the concept and remember this diagram once you remember this diagram and after that you require to understand this notation because some books follow this notation and some books follow this notation and after that we can easily write down the derivation and here once the table is created we are just calculating the summation and we are putting the value and we are getting the answer now here we are getting the value between 0 0.50 to 0 0.75 so good amount of variation is explained by the r square now similar the exercise 3 again x is independent y is dependent variable the equation is 68 minus 3x we can find out that average is 35 so we are comparing with this and with this predicted answer and we are getting the answer 0.88 now again the 0.88 means what it is very close to 1 and this indicates that most of the points close to the regression line therefore substantial percentage of variation is explained by for by for dependent variable by the independent variable so that is all about the adjusted r square now very important that in multiple linear regression when we add the relevant variable then r square increase and when we add the variable which is not relevant or significant at that time r square remain as it is and r square is always better when its value is greater than 0.75 so that's all about the coefficient of determination in the next video I am going to cover the adjusted R square and the relationship between the R and R square. Thank you.